So yesterday, Microsoft made this extremely idiotic decision to not only jack up the price of Xbox Live Gold, but go as far to double the price of the subscription for new subscribers. And this prompted a ton of backlash from the players. I made a video myself screaming about how stupid I thought it was, not just from our perspective, you know, getting screwed over having to pay all this extra money, but even from their side, I felt like it would be something that would turn people off from the Xbox as we head into the next generation, which I didn't think was smart. But, uh, oh boy, what a difference a day makes. Microsoft came out late last night, actually, and gave us this update on the situation. Quote, Today was not great. We always try to do our best for you, and today we miss the mark. We hear you, and we're reversing our Xbox Live Gold pricing updates. They go on. To bring Xbox Live more in line with how we see the player at the center of their experience, we will be removing gold requirements for free-to-play games. We're starting work on that immediately, and we'll have updates in the coming months. So there's a bit to unpack here. Not only are they walking back the Xbox Live Gold price increases, but they're going a step further and will no longer require a gold subscription to play free-to-play games. What can I say? Complaining works. I mean, inevitably, every time something like this happens in the industry where there's an uproar from the players, there's always some people being like, oh, what's the use in bitching? Uh, you're not going to be able to change anything. And then when things do get changed as a direct result of said bitching, those people go into hiding and wait for the next set of drama so they can come out and try to peddle that crap again. Like, oh, when just complaining about stuff never works. Raising issues, especially with these big companies, is an important part of the relationship between us, the consumers, and them. And I always say this, we the players are the money. This entire industry doesn't even exist without us. So to act like we're powerless, just have to put up with whatever they do is crazy talk. Sure, we don't always get what we want, but that doesn't mean it's not worth trying. And I personally can't really think of a situation where things worked out better than they did here with Microsoft and this Xbox Live Gold price situation. Not only did we get this awful price increase backpedaled, but things are being made even better with them not requiring the gold subs anymore for free-to-play games. I mean, don't think for a second that that isn't a direct result of the complaining about the price hike. It's not a coincidence that they're doing both of these things. While people were explaining how stupid the, the price hike was, I mean, a full doubling of the price, just ludicrous, I saw many people, again, myself as well in my video, bring up the fact that Xbox is the only place that requires the online subscription deal to play free-to-play games on their platform. So surely, while they were just getting bombarded all day with criticism, they saw that theme, people bringing this up like, I, I already, you're the only platform I have to pay to play free-to-play games. Free is in the title, I shouldn't have to pay anything to play them, but it, I have to have this sub on your platform. Such a stupid decision, however you look at it. Now, I want to be clear that while I'm happy that we saw this course correction, I don't think it excuses the original attempt at freaking doubling the Xbox Live Gold price to begin with. I mean, I don't know how many times I can stress it. It's not enough. This wasn't like a small little, you know, five, ten dollar increase. They were doubling the price for a yearly subscription. And I believe it's important that we don't allow these companies to sort of farm goodwill in this way. Like, I see a lot of people in the replies to this announcement when they walked this back being like, see guys, this is why Xbox is the best. They listen, unlike Sony and Nintendo, which you probably have a point. I do think Sony and, and, and Nintendo would be less likely to listen to players in a situation like this. But backtracking this awful decision shouldn't make us, you know, like the company more. 
I mean, if they genuinely wanted to just build more trust with the community, give people a better experience, they wouldn't be the only holdout in the first place requiring these online subscriptions to access free-to-play games. I mean, if they cared so much about the players, why are they the only ones making us pay in the first place? I mean, if they genuinely just wanted to build more trust with the community, this is something, you know, coming out and saying, hey, we're getting with the times and removing the gold requirements from free-to-play games. That's something you would have just done on its own. This was a direct result of them trying to double the price of that service, double the price of your access to those games, and then just getting hammered for it from all sides of the internet. Again, I'm not trying to turn a positive outcome into a negative. I can already see people being like, God, shy guy. They, they give you a better deal in the end and you still want to complain about it. You know, if we let these situations get us acting like, oh, wow, they listened, they're one of the good guys, th then what stops these companies from just doing something stupid like this every couple months? And then when they backtrack it, being like, okay, give us our praise. We listened. We did the right thing. Love us again. I mean, like these companies always try to do, if you look at that statement, oh, we missed the mark, acting like they made a mistake. An accident, you know, I was just talking about this with Cyberpunk. No, they knew exactly what they were doing, trying to screw people, but the backlash was getting to be too great, so they retreated. That's the fact. And I do think Xbox is in a much better situation now as a result, but let's not downplay what actually happened here. But yeah, considering that, I do think this makes Xbox more appealing here as we head into this next generation, we literally went from this price hike announcement making the system look way worse to actually looking better with that gold requirement removal for free-to-play games. I saw a lot of people when I was looking at discussions about this announcement talking about how just them making you pay for gold to play games like Call of Duty Warzone is the one I used as an example yesterday or you know other big free-to-play games like a Fortnite or something. That's something that directly turn people off because they were like you know if those are the only big multiplayer games you play and you're able to play them for free on literally every other platform that kind of pushes you into that direction now that requirement's going to be removed and you might see some people want to come over to the xbox side of things as a result i mean they do still have all these very pro consumer things they're doing with like the backwards compatibility the value of Game Pass, all the cross-save, cross-play stuff with PC. So yeah, maybe taking that big negative away now may actually get some people to side with Xbox as we head into the next generation. And I want that to be the case. I want there to be serious competition between the Series X and the PS5. I want everybody, when they buy, whether it be a Series X, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, a PC, I want people to get their money out of it to feel like they made a good purchase and i think the series x is a beast like i said they're doing a lot of pro consumer stuff here this was a step in the wrong direction but they definitely took it at two steps and the right one as a result which i'm happy about let's just not make more mistakes like that in the future microsoft if you want you know the pro consumer the players at the center and all this nonsense then you know practice what you preach Anyway, with that, this video is a wrap. Let me know your thoughts on Microsoft backtracking on their gold price hike in the comments. Would this, coupled with them also not requiring now a gold subscription to play free-to-play games, make you more likely to pick up an Xbox sometime in the future? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this discussion of Microsoft backpedaling on the Xbox Live gold price increase. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you want to keep the conversation going, hit me up on Twitter at Johnny Zakari and join my Discord, Shy Guy and Friends. Link to both in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.